hi guys thanks for joining me again if you're new to my channel welcome 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 my name is Anne, and on my channel i review foreign international content today i'm back to review this lovely show love next door with some of our favorite actor and actress so obviously if you've been watching korean dramas you know who they are but oh wow another excellent um episodes uh, we're in episode three and four of love next door and i just want to say tell her tell her stop waiting like why are you taking forever you should have told her when you guys were in high school when she was the only one who showed up to support you always being there for you when you were swimming your parents were never there that's another story but it's just like, I just want to say, tell her. Then you go and visit her in America. You bring her all the snacks and all the books that she loves from Korea. You are having this moment. It seems like the perfect opening. You don't say anything. And you wrote it when you are in high school in this time capsule that you hid that maybe, you know, 10 years from now, I'll tell her how I feel about her. And then now she's back in Korea, you're at the swimming pool, you're asking her, so do you have any regrets? Would you wanna go back to the company that you left? Would you wanna go back to your fiance? And she's like, no, tell her. I'm like, tell her, the door is like open, just tell her. But then he's so scared of losing the relationship because if he tells her what happens, right? The other thing I have to ask is, you want to tell me she also does not feel it like the way he looks at her? Like, she would have to be like, uh, girl, this is your best friend. You're always together. He's good looking. He's always been there for you. He watches out for you. Um, tell me you're also not feeling things. And I want to know, like, what happened? Did you get discouraged because he never told you? You've been waiting and waiting. He never told you, so you go to America and then you're lonely out there and meet this other guy and you decide, well, my best friend is not into me, so let me just move on with somebody else. So you maybe you went for second best. Is that why? Because he took forever to tell you? I cannot wait to find out. But I hope we don't spend 16 episodes of this uh, where they're always looking at each other. We know there's that romantic tension going on and nobody, nobody is saying anything. Anyway, let me know what you're thinking, but I'm just like, are you like me? Just tell her, tell her. And then you gotta take the risk, right? I feel like the relationship is too strong enough. I don't think it would break, but I just can't help feeling like tell her because, oh, come on, the way he looks at her and I know she also feels something. Anyway, the other thing that I thought was interesting was how like, oh my gosh, of all the companies that would want him to work for them is Grip, the same company that she used to work for in the US. And then now they want to do business in Korea, open this shop or something. And then that guy, what a douchebag, right? How would you take advantage of your own people so you can have the other culture look at you, the white people, the American company look at you better? But for you to do that, you have to throw your own under the bus because you knew she was Korean, she's there, she's lonely, so we can take advantage of her. She would do all the work and then we're all gonna look good. Thank God she overheard him and was like, wow, you, instead of you being the one that get me because we're both from Korea, you're gonna take advantage of me so you can look better in front of your coworkers who are, tend to be, you know, white and from a different culture. Like, you have no self-esteem. I hate people like that. You're willing to let your people look bad, uh, sell out your people for another person, another race, because clearly you must hate your own self. And I loved how it all progressed, even with his partner being like, oh, I was wondering what your problem was. But it so turns out, me being on social media, it turns out I actually follow and I'm friends with the CEO of your company. And I let them know what kind of a person you are and what you are doing, right? Like, oh my gosh, like what kind of terrible person you are. And then I love what he said to him. Um, you in Korea now, show some respect. I'm your elder, fix your tie. Like, what is wrong with you? Like you've totally lost who you are. Oh, I'm so glad that that worked out and now they got the business. That is 
so fantastic. I love his office and that assistant that they have, who I think has a thing for him, but she's also wise where when they had that uh, disagreement, which was a good discussion about him, where he was like, I am not willing to sell out my beliefs and who I am because of money. And then I also got his point in the fact that it's not that I don't have beliefs, but we also have salaries to pay. We also have to put food on the table for other people. And sometimes you got to take a job to do that. And I love the discussions that they had back and forth. And even she told him like, look, not everybody has the luxury of living out their dreams because sometimes you just got to pay the bill. She was like, you also have to look at the other side. Uh, which is very interesting because I got both sides. They were both right because you got to stick to your beliefs. Otherwise, the job will get old and you're going to hate yourself for it. That being said, there's also a balance about making sure the company does not go under because of your beliefs. There's got to be like some sort of a happy medium there. So I love their dynamics in the office and their assistant. Just fantastic. Now, the other question I have is about his parents. What is going on? His parents, the mother and the father, clearly they're cold towards each other. Clearly something has happened there. Then the other thing too is even he mentioned to her, you don't like being in South Korea. You're always leaving to go for a job. And then we see she goes to meet the, was he like, I don't know, the prime minister or I don't know who he is. But she's like, can you send me out for another assignment? I've been in Korea for two months and I need to go. She's even like begging, I don't care if you send me in the middle of nowhere, I'm good. I'm like, what are you running away from? Why is she running away? And then the other thing too, I was like, the father and mother's relationship is so awkward that when they were having that breakfast, their family, but it looked like they were strangers and could not wait to be done with this breakfast so they can get off the table like, I'm done. So what happened? And then the way that prime minister like put his hand on her shoulders and I'm like, oh, she can have an affair or something. Like what is going on with that relationship? Because almost like they're, they're just there by marriage, but they're really not there. I cannot wait to find out what the story behind his parents is because that is strange. And the fact that they were always gone, they were never there for him. I mean, that one time the coach is like, your parents gonna be here? And he's like, nope, they're out of town or the father is always busy. I think he's a doctor and then she's always, you know, traveling, um, which is just kind of strange that they were never there for him. And then it was sad to see why he stopped being a swimmer. Oh my gosh, he could have gone and became an Olympic swimmer but got hit by the car. And I loved how she was there for him. Like, if you ever lock that door again, I will break it down with this ax. Like, don't even do it. So that's what I'm saying. Like, they've gotta know, they both gotta know they're more than just friends to each other because I'm like, come on, say it. And I know she feels it. Anyway, we're here for it, we'll wait for it, but I hope it's not 16 episodes. I do not wanna wait until the 15th episode for them to be like, Wah! this is why. That's gonna just drive me crazy. The other couple or the other people I'm liking is the reporter and her friend. And the fact that he just moved into the neighborhood and then that girl in the park. That reporter, for somebody who likes to ask a lot of questions, when they ask him about, why are you here? How do you know this neighborhood? He is very like, doesn't want to talk about it. Then we find out he did go to the same school with the two of them because he took a picture of them. What's your story? And then that little girl, is that his daughter? Because I'm like, she kept on saying that my dad said, don't speak to strangers, don't take food from strangers, that kind of thing. And I'm like, mm, I wonder because I wonder. On the other hand, it seems like nobody knows him because even the mothers don't seem to recognize him. Cannot wait to find out what that story is about, but oh, I'm so still loving it. And I cannot wait for him to just tell her, let's tell her and then let's work with that, right? If she runs, she runs. But I know your friendship is strong enough that she would come back to her senses. Anyway, what do you guys think? Let me know what you thought about it. Like, are you in the same place where you're just like, tell her? 
and then let me know what you're thinking about what's going on with his parents like what's up with that but once again are you loving it like i am hope you join me next week for episode five and six just fantastic and then please join me i'll be back i'm gonna be reviewing romance in the house oh that is so good so funny but join me for that review as well once again thank you so much for joining me if you do like my video give me a like subscribe it does help support my channel and i'll see you next week do say